Welcome to the Washington Monument, the focal point of all of the various druidic ley lines that the Freemasons have running through the city. You can smell the conspiracy. It's fantastic. Not everyone who visits the Washington Monument has the best time. One July 4th, a United States president came here to preside over ceremonies during the construction of the monument. While he was here, he drank some milk, he ate some cherries, and then he got sick and he died on July 9th. Name that president. World War I was the war to end all wars. And yet, oddly enough, here we are at the World War II Memorial. I'm going to give you four U.S. wars. I want you to rank them in order of most casualties to fewest casualties. The American Revolution, the Civil War, World War II, Vietnam. July 1 through 3, the Union and the Confederacy fought the Battle of Gettysburg, which was mostly important because it led to the Gettysburg Address, which is actually chiseled on one of the walls on the inside of the Lincoln Memorial. What year was the Gettysburg Address given? No walking tour of the National Mollular Region would be complete without a visit to Pennsylvania Avenue and, of course, the White House, so that you could see not only the White House, but all the wackos who hang out in front of it. Pennsylvania Avenue was actually open to vehicular traffic until May 1995, one month after a particular tragic event compelled the Secret Service to close the street for security concerns. What was that April 1995 event? What was uh, John Paul Jones, Allison? Well, I'm glad you asked, Chris. He was the father of the American Navy. And what did that uh, fantastic uh, distinction earn him? That earned him a statue on a traffic island. Way to go, boss. John Paul Jones' uh, famous ship was called the Bonhomme Richard, which was named after the French title of a book written by an American founding father. Can you name that founding father? She can't. No. 